hello welcome back to my channel please subscribe to my channel for more amazing updates about the world so the last update about twist of fate grandma confronts ria over her evil plans towards prachi and pragya tries to stop abby from drinking let's continue pragya accepts in front of abby that she had filled the wine bottles with colored water abby argues with her sumit amit and gato apologize to pragya and leave pragya says you wanted to show that you are superior but I prove you wrong, and I have done this for your betterment. She goes. Rhea comes to Prachi's room to call her to undo the guest and find her not there. She comes to conclusion that Rambro and Prachi went out of the house. Prachi worries for Rhea and tells Rambro that if she would have been there, then she would have helped Rhea in handling the guest and guide her. Rambro says, Mommy asks you to be in the room and asks her to give her hand and hold her hand. He plays her favorite song. Prachi smiles and asks why he is so good. Rambro says you made me good. Rhea shouted saying that they cannot be together. She throws the vase angrily and says I came to become good in Rambro's eyes and not in my mother-in-law's eyes. She says she will make Rambro ask. Abby comes to the room and asks if Pragya enjoyed running his party. Pragya says it was planned to trouble me and drank with your friends to make me feel low. But your friends left with their head low. She asks him to sleep. Abby says I will think that you made plan and got successful. Pragya asks Abby to write 100 times that you will not drink and you will get sleep. Abby says I will search in the house and I will get wine. Pragya stops him and asks him to tell what he did 2 years ago and asks what did she did. Abby says it is your trick to divert me. He goes. Pragya thinks that he got upset again. She thinks to call Prachi. Rambro and Prachi come home later in the night. Rhea switch on the light. Rambro says, I thought mommy woke up. Rhea asks, where were you, Prachi? I was searching for you everywhere and tells Rambro that he should have told them. Prachi asks Rambro to say. Rambro says, I made the plan to go and says he will tell you next time. Rhea says that she was worried as mommy scolded her and I thought that where did she go to? She says she called her many times. Prachi says you can call Rambro. Rhea says, I did not know that you were with her. Rambro says you can call me at any time. He says, Prachi likes your care and concern more than my care and concern. Prachi says it is late. Rhea says we shall sleep. Ram returns and look at Rhea. He says, good night. Pragya calls Prachi and asks, do you know what I did with your papa? She asks, where is Rambro? Prachi says he is here. Pragya asks her to put the phone on speaker. Pragya says that she got the idea of fear and she left the croco cheese in the party. His friends ran out and I changed the wine with colored water and his friends left. Rambro says Chief would do something dangerous. Pragya says I know how to undo him. Prachi says I am sure that you can do it. Pragya asks them to sleep and ends the call. Rhea comes back to her room. She keeps the pillows on her bed and lies down to sleep. Seda thinks that this pillow comes between us daily and Rhea keeps it there. He thinks that why is Rhea maintaining distance from me? Rhea thinks that she feels suffocated in this room. And her real room is where Prachi is sleeping with Rambro. She says she just loves Rambro and she wished that she would tell this clearly. She turns. Sedat pretends to sleep. Rhea thinks that Prachi is there and yes, Sedat is here. I have to act with both. She thinks that Sedat to know why I am behaving such and thinks that she is in bad condition. Amit, Sumit and Gatu comes back home. Tanu is about to close the window and hears them talking that Abby called them for the party and Pragya ruined it. Sumi says that all the good wife behaved this way and she was stopping him for his betterment. They could have fight, but then also Babi took risk as she was thinking about Abby. Sumi praises Pragya and says Abby's wife is a good wife. If my wife does this, then I will stop drinking today. Amit asks him to stop drinking from today as I am your elder brother. Sumi says I will drink wine with you and runs. Tano stops Gatu and asks him if he is Abby's good friend. Gato says yes and says Abby changed his name from Gorav to Gato. Tano asks him to buy wine and give to Abby, else Abby will not get sleep. She says they shall go to the wine shop and buy it. Tano comes to the wine shop and buys it. After knowing about its effect, she buys a carton and asks him to go and give it to Abby. He asks her to give it to him. Tano says that she wants Abby to enjoy every moment and asks him to go and give it to Abby and says nobody should know. She thinks that Pragya wants peace. And I sent wine so that it snatches your peace. Just as you have the wine, your peace will go away and I'll wait for the drama to happen. Abby comes to the room and asks Pragya if she is trying to sleep, snatching his own sleep. 
He says until he gets wine, he cannot sleep. Pragya says you came to tell me this. Abby says I am angry with you and says you shall know the reason. Pragya says we did not have a fight. Sushma calls Pragya again and again. Pragya asks Abby to give her phone and calls her, but the call is not connected. Abby says if I had given you on time, then my one minute would have been wasted. Pragya asks him to tell why he is angry. Pragya asks Abby why he did not let her talk on phone. Abby says because he wanted to talk and it seems that he doesn't have the right to talk either in that house. Pragya says fine and asks why he is angry. He says go, go ahead and talk to her Sushma auntie. She says she is talking to him and is behaving like a kid. He says he came to talk too. Now he doesn't have the mood to talk. She says she won't wait for long. He teases her by playing phone ring with his voice and saying it is his friend call and it looks important. Abby and Pragya sees the maid. She says she is going home. After she leaves, they again started arguing. Now Abby get the phone for real. He says he must pick up and says that her bossy attitude won't work on him. He calls her Lady Gaba. She smiles. He asks why she is smiling. She says she has smiling face. He asks if she got bottles. She says yes and tells him to pick up his phone. He says he would pick up when he wants to and he leaves. Abby asks his friend he reached home. He tells him to open his door. He forgot to give him something. Abby opens the door. His friend gives him the alcohol saying that he knows that Abby will not be able to sleep without it. He says Pragya is nice but she is strict. His other wife Tano is good. When he told her that Pragya threw away the alcohol, Tano sent the new one. Abby gets a call from Tanu. She asks whether got to deliver the alcohol to him. He taunts her that everyone is not a thief. He thanks her and hangs up. Tanu says that she sent the alcohol so that Abby can trouble Pragya after drinking it like he used to trouble them. She says a storm is going to come for Pragya. Pragya waits for Abby. She wonders why he is taking so long. Tanu is drinking alcohol, listening to music and dancing. Alia asks if he had alcohol. Tanu says that she is having a celebration. Alia asks celebration for what? Tanu thinks not to tell Alia, else she will spoil her plan. She says that she is just happy as she got the money and she is feeling secured. Alia figures out that Tanu is hiding something and wonders what she did that she is so happy. She asks her again. Tanu tells her to go and ask her new friend, Gaurav. She says soon she will find out, so she should just wait and watch. Abby gives one bottle to Gatu and he leaves. After that, Abby says now alcohol will go inside him and Lion will come out. He started drinking. Pragya comes there and wonders what Abby is drinking when she threw away everything. He sees her and asks what she is looking at. He is drinking again. She tells him to drink more, thinking he is doing drama. It's her house and he must live in her terms. No drinking. She asks him to stop all this nonsense and sleep. Abby throws a bottle on the floor and it breaks. He goes closer to her and asks if she still doesn't smell alcohol. She looks at him in a shock. Sida thinks Aurea kept pillow between them when they are sleeping. Grandma sees him lost in thought and asks why he looks upset. Sida says that he just came to drink water and he sat there for positivity as Pooja was done earlier. Grandma says that she loved him a lot and he shouldn't hide anything from her. She takes a promise from him to share whatever is troubling him whenever he feels like. She will try her best to solve his issues. He hugs her and promises her. Pragya pushes Abby. He asks why she pushed him. She says that she just made him go away from her. He says, no, you pushed me. She says, fine, I pushed you. He says, now I will take revenge by pushing you. She says, I just slightly pushed you. He says, I will do the same. She says, no, you are drunk. You won't know what slight push is. He goes after her. Pragya runs and then tells him, statue. He freezes for a moment and then asks what statue. She says, let's patch up. He says, when it came on you, you want to patch up, to hell with patch up. She tells him to take revenge in the morning. He says, in the morning, you will say night. He started chasing her again. Abby picks a pillow and throws it at Pragya. She falls. He laughs, saying that he was seeing for Pragya and still he eats the right one. She says, is he doing pillow fight with her? She throws it at him and runs. He managed to catch her. He picks her up and do the circles. She get dizzy. They continue with their silly fight and dance as song plays. Abby carries her again and then sits down with Pragya being in his lap. Pragya gets up saying that it is too late now and they shall sleep. He says night has just started. She says let me go. He says you promised you will never go away from me. He asks for one more dance. 
She runs to her room. Abby follows her. He's about to lose his balance on the stairs. He says, Four eyes. Pragya runs to Abby, but she fails to save him. He falls down and gets unconscious. She tells him to open the eyes. Prachi wakes up in shock. She tells Ramri that something bad has happened. Ramri says he just saw a bad dream. He relaxes her and makes her sleep. Abby opens his eyes. Pragya gets happy. He smiles. She gets angry, saying, You were joking. I was so scared. I don't like such jokes. His eyes are closed again. She says, I accept you won and I lost. Now, Abby, open your eyes. Pragya sees blood flowing under Abby's head and gets shocked. Sushma comes there and asks Pragya what happened to Abby. Pragya says he fell from the stairs. Sushma tells Pragya to press on his wound and stop the blood. She calls a doctor and says that there is an emergency. Pragya cries. Thank you for watching my videos. Please don't forget to like my video and share it. And please subscribe to this channel for more updates. Thank you.